Today we will do target setting with the help of Microsoft Excel. We have received the following to help us in target setting. Trend for last 18 months, and total target for the territory. In this video we shall make target in three different ways. Applying formulas and making targets from the month total, basis last year quarter 3 data. Applying formulas and making targets at the product level, basis last year quarter 3 data. Applying formulas and making targets at the product level, basis this year quarter 2 data. So let us begin. The first thing we need to do is to create a pivot table. We go to insert tab, pivot table, and click OK. Now we shall begin organizing the pivot table to create raw data, to help us in target setting. In the column labels, we bring down year, quarter, and month. And in the values column, we drag the total. We apply filter and select the year 2022, and select quarter 03. We copy paste the last year sum of total below the target in the grand total sheet. Next, we move back to the pivot worksheet and we bring down distributor tab below the year in the columns label. Remove the distributor total from the pivot table by using the right click and uncheck the tab subtotal distributor. Now, we copy paste the last year sum of total below the target in the grand total sheet. The first step is to create the grand total for each distributor. So, in cell H34, we type, is equal to, then we select the target of July of the target given, which in our case is in cell D34, divide it by the last year achievement, which in our case is in cell D36, and multiply the same by the last year of distributor 1 of cell H36. We copy-paste the formula for all the distributors. Now, we set the formula to calculate the target for product 1, for distributor 1. In cell H3, we type, is equal to, select the cell of product 1 target, which is in cell D3, and divide the same by the total target for July month, which is in cell D34. We apply the dollar sign between D, and 34, to freeze the row number 34, and multiply it by the total of the July month of distributor 1 which is in cell H34. We again apply the dollar sign between H and 34 to freeze the row. Now, we copy-paste the formula in the entire sheet. We now have the product-wise target for all distributors for all the months, and the quarter based on the calculation at the grand total level. Let us work on creating the target at product level. We move back to our pivot table sheet. We remove the distributor tab from the column labels. In the row labels, we bring down brand, sub-brand, and product. We need to change the report layout to tabular form. We go to the design tab, select report layout, and choose show in tabular form. In the sub-brand menu, we right-click and uncheck the subtotal sub-brand. Our product level format of last year's data is now ready. We copy the last year's product level data, and paste the values in the last year product level sheet. We again go back to our pivot table sheet, and we bring down the distributor filter below the year filter in the column labels. We copy the distributor last year data paste the values in the last year product level sheet next to the total data. We apply the following formula in the distributor 1 cell H3, is equal to D3, divided by D36, multiplied by H36. We copy-paste the formula in all the cells. Our distributor level, product level, targets based on the last year distributor level, and is now ready. We need to repeat the same process to set the target based on trend of the last quarter. We go back to the pivot table sheet and we remove the distributor selection from the column labels. Click on the quarter filter and select quarter 2. We click on the year and select 2023. Copy-paste the data in the current trend product level. We again navigate back to the pivot table. We bring the distributor filter in the column labels below the year filter. We copy the data and paste the same in the current trend product level.
we apply the following formula in the distributor 1 cell H3, is equal to D3, divided by D36, multiplied by H36. We copy-paste the formula in all the cells. Our distributor level, product level, targets based on the last quarter distributor level, product level achievement is now ready. When we check the targets, we notice that the total targets calculated at the last year grand total level, and the last year product level is the same, but there is a variation in the target when calculated at the trend level. One more important thing to observe is that, even though distributor 4 does not sell product 25, when the target is calculated at the grand total level, he is given the target for product 25, which is wrong. Hence targets should always be calculated at the product level. If you have liked the video, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment in the comment box.